Hi, this is Scott Kilos Sierra 6 Delta Alpha Yankee, and for today's video, I'm back once again talking about the Ocean KG Q10H. Um, if you've been following the channel for the past month or so, I've had kind of a rocky start with this particular radio. You see two boxes here. In this box is the one that I was having a problem with when I initially got it. Had some problems with the speaker mic port and the ability to work with the programming cables and speaker mics, etc. I had sent it back for a warranty repair. And when I re received it back, and this was last week, um, it still had the same problems. And I detailed that in a video, and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you straight up, I pulled that video down within I don't know 12 hours of posting it. I had uh, I had put it up in the evening, I believe, um, and then that night when I went to bed, I was I was kind of I don't know, I was just kind of bothered by the whole thing because it was a very negative, very kind of hostile video because I was irritated, I was pissed, and uh, I was operating on emotion, and I uh, learned long ago that whenever emotion comes into play, objectivity suffers. And in this case, my objectivity had suffered quite a bit. Not in that I was reading the situation wrong or that the information I was conveying was incorrect, but I was letting, I was letting my feelings kind of color um, the information that I was conveying rather than just providing accurate, concise, detailed information. I was uh, throwing a little bit of a, a little bit of a hissy fit. And I am very, very critical of people that get too emotionally attached to brands or particular radios or cult of personality stuff around particular brands and radios. I'm, I'm intensely critical of people that do that. And it, it, it definitely isn't my cup of tea whatsoever. And I, in retrospect, I was looking at the video and thinking, yeah, I'm kind of falling into that same trap here. And, and I, Long story short, it was a bad look. So when I woke up the next morning, decided I was going to take the video down. Uh, within minutes of taking the video down, though, I checked my email, and there was an email there from the owner of Buy Two Way Radios. He had seen the video and was uh, was a little bit bothered by my entire experience and was focused very heavily on making sure that he took care of my situation and made it right. And I'll tell you what, he went the extra mile on this one. Um, I had some harsh words to say about by two-way radio, which I retract fully. Uh, and a lot of what was bothering me in that video was I was I was really harsh on by two-way radios. But overnight, I thought, you know, I had bought uh, either myself personally or or via company funds. Um, I had bought a lot of radios and a lot of gear from Buy Two Way Radios, and up to that point, every experience had been perfectly flawless. I was happy with the product, I was happy with the experience, um, everything was delivered promptly, everything was correct, uh, so it was illogical for me to take one bad experience and let that cover or color the entire experience I had had up to that point with both Buy Two Way Radios and Ocean. So, like I said, that's why I had pulled the video down. He didn't ask me to pull it down. He never even brought it up. And when he noticed that I had pulled it down, um, he said, hey, you know, you didn't really need to do that. You were having a valid experience that, uh, you know, he didn't have a problem with that information being out there. Um, but like I said, I had a problem because uh, and not even related to how he perceived it or anything. It was how everybody would perceive it if I'm over here throwing a fit. And then when someone else does something in a similar vein regarding, you know, their, their favorite cheap Chinese radio that I didn't like, well, you know what? Um, I can't really be critical at that point if I'm going to fall into the same trap. So uh, trying to, trying to you know, mind my own manners. How about that? So long story short, here's, here's, here's the upshot on this. Um, he didn't even wait for the bad radio to go back. That's what's in this box right here. I'm going to pop up, pop up and show you. This is the radio that I had a problem with. It's all boxed up and ready to go back. Um, but like I said, he didn't even wait for that to occur. Uh, what he did was he boxed up a brand new replacement, KGQ10H, and he threw in a couple of extra accessories. I had already bought this speaker mic and I bought this programming cable. But in the box when I received the radio, I had a, another speaker mic um, 
that works with this radio just fine and another programming cable, both of which I've tested, both of which work. I'm not having any of the same problems that I was having with the other radio. So this one is going to go back tomorrow. It'll go to UPS. Um, and what I'm going to do moving forward is I have one fully functional Q10H. And I, I did mention, despite how irritated I was, that I, there were so many features about this radio that were so awesome that I wanted to cover. And I'm happy to be able to do that at this point. So I'm going to need a few days to kind of really stretch my legs with this and try it out and see all that it'll do. Um, you know, a week or a week and a half really isn't enough time to give it a fair assessment, but um, I think I can hit the high points. And then long-term moving forward, I see myself, genuinely see myself using this radio a lot because it has a lot of things that I've been looking for in a radio for a long time. So um, that full review uh, will be coming in the next week or so. In the meantime, uh, I just want to state one more time, um, Every experience I had, other than the one I had with that one, and even that now is not a bad experience because it's got a happy ending. Every experience I've had with buy two way radio has been pretty darn awesome. The prices are fair. They're you know shipping is shipping. Can't really get around that. Um, but every time I've ordered something, it's been delivered promptly. I've had no problems with my orders. Everything I've gotten has been exactly what I ordered, and I've been happy with what I got. So when it comes to buy two way radio, and when it comes to uh, ocean radios. Buy with confidence. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm sorry I ever even mentioned that, you know, I, I well, like I said, I, I let it get personal. How about that? And really, we, we should be fighting against that because we've got enough problems in this world right now without people making every little thing into a gigantic war. This is just something that I probably, had I been a little calmer, probably could have solved it all with a phone call and it, without having to, to make a video. So lessons learned moving forward. And uh, again, that's pretty much it. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a heads up and look forward to the review on this radio in the next, uh, let's say, week or so. So with that, thanks for watching and for listening. This is Scott Kilo Sierra 6, Delta Alpha Yankee from Visalia, California. Have a wonderful day.